The Aegis Combat System is an integrated naval weapons system developed by the Missile and Surface Radar Division of RCA, and now produced by Lockheed Martin. It uses powerful computer and radar technology to track and guide weapons to destroy enemy targets. Initially used by the United States Navy, Aegis is now used also by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, Spanish Navy, Royal Norwegian Navy, and Republic of Korea Navy. Over 100 Aegis-equipped ships have been deployed in five navies worldwide. The Royal Australian Navy selected the Aegis system for placement on its new air warfare destroyers, and it is part of NATO's European Missile Defense System. Etymology The word Aegis is a reference that dates back to Greek mythology, with connotations of a protective shield, as the Aegis was the buckler of Zeus, worn by Athena. Overview. The Aegis Combat System is an advanced command and control and weapon control system that uses powerful computers and radars to track and guide weapons to destroy enemy targets. The axis composed of the Aegis Weapon System, the fast reaction component of the Aegis anti-aircraft warfare capability, along with the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System and the Mark Chapter 41 Vertical Launch System system. MK-41 VLS adopts a modular design concept, which results in different versions that vary in size and weight. The length comes in three sizes, 209 in from the self-defense version, 266 in for the tactical version, and 303 in for the strike version. The empty weight for an aid cell module is 26,800 pounds for the self-defense version, 29,800 pounds for the tactical version, and 32,000 pounds for the strike version thus incorporating anti-submarine warfare systems and Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles. Shipboard torpedo and naval gunnery systems are also integrated. AWS, the heart of Aegis, comprises the UN-SPY-1 radar, MK-99 fire control system, WCS, the command and decision suite, and EDM-2 standard missile family of weapons. These include the basic RIM-66 standard, the RIM-67 extended range missile, and the newer RIM-161 designed to counter ballistic missile threats. A further EDM-2 based weapon. The RIM-174 standard ARAM is currently in testing, and may be integrated into the system in the near future. Individual ships may not carry all variants. Weapons loadouts are adjusted to suit assigned mission profile. The Aegis Combat System is controlled by an advanced, automatic detect and track, multifunction three-dimensional passive electronically scanned array radar, the and SPY-1, known as the Shield of the Fleet. The SPY high-powered radar is able to perform search, tracking, and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a track capacity of well over 100 targets at more than 100 nautical miles. However, the UN SPY-1 radar is mounted lower than the UN SPS-49 radar system and so has a reduced radar horizon. The Aegis system communicates with the standard missiles through a radio frequency uplink using the UN-SPY-1 radar for mid-course update missile guidance during engagements, but still requires the UN-SPG-62 radar for terminal guidance. This means that with proper scheduling of intercepts, a large number of targets can be engaged simultaneously. The computer-based command and decision element is the core of the Aegis combat system. This interface makes the axe capable of simultaneous operation against almost all kinds of threats. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System program is intended to enable the Aegis system to act in a sea-based ballistic missile defense function, to counter short and medium-range ballistic missiles of the variety typically employed by a number of potential opponent states. As of January 2014, 
2018, the US and Japan were the only countries to purchase or deploy the Aegis BMD development. Aegis was initially developed by the Missile and Surface Radar Division of Varsia, which was later acquired by General Electric. The division responsible for the Aegis systems became Government Electronic Systems. This, and other GE Aerospace businesses, were sold to Martin Marietta in 1992. This became part of Lockheed Martin in 1995. By the late 1950s, the U.S. Navy replaced guns with guided missiles on its ships. These were sufficient weapons but by the late 1960s, the U.S. Navy recognized that reaction time, firepower, and operational availability in all environments did not match the anti-ship missile threat. The new threat of Soviet anti-ship missiles exposed a weakness in contemporary naval radar. The requirements of both tracking and targeting these missiles was limited by the number of radars on each ship, which was typically two to four. In 1958 the Navy started the Typhon Combat System, a prophetic program culminated in the futuristic, but unreliable and SPG-59 phased array radar which was never made viable and was cancelled in 1963 to be replaced by the Advanced Surface Missile System. As a result, the U.S. Navy decided to develop a program to defend ships from anti-ship missile threats. Threats. An advanced surface missile system was promulgated and an engineering development program was initiated in 1964 to meet the requirements. ASMS was renamed Aegis in December 1969 after the Aegis, the shield of the Greek god Zeus. The name was invented at the suggestion of Captain L. J. Stetcher, a former Tata weapon system manager, after an internal U. S. Navy contest to name the ASMS program was initiated. Captain Stetcher also submitted a possible acronym of Advanced Electronic Guided Interceptor System although this definition was never used. The main manufacturer of the Aegis Combat System, Lockheed Martin, makes no mention of the name Aegis being an acronym, nor does the U. S. Navy, because the Aegis Combat System is the key component of several cruiser and destroyer class vessels. The ships are often incorrectly referred to as Aegis class cruisers or Aegis class destroyers. In reality, the radar system and the class of ship it is installed on are unrelated to each other. The first engineering development model was installed in a test ship, the Aus Norton Sound, in 1973. During this time frame, the Navy envisioned installing the Aegis combat system on both a nuclear-powered strike cruiser and a conventionally-powered destroyer. The CSGN was to be a new 17,200-ton cruiser design based on the earlier California and Virginia-class cruisers. The Aegis destroyer design would be based on the gas turbine-powered Spruance class. When the CSGN GN was cancelled. The Navy proposed a modified Virginia class design with a new superstructure designed for the Aegis combat system and with a displacement of 12,100 tons. As compared to the CSGN, this design was not as survivable and had reduced command and control facilities for an embarked flag officer. Ultimately this design was also cancelled during the Carter administration due to its increased cost compared to the non-nuclear DDG-47. With the cancellation of the CGN-42, the DDG-47 Aegis destroyer was redesignated as CG-47, a guided missile cruiser. The first cruiser of this class was US Ticonderoga, which used two twin-armed Mark 26 missile launchers, fore and aft. 
the commissioning of the sixth ship of the class. Us Bunker Hill opened a new era in surface warfare as the first Aegis ship outfitted with the Martin Marietta Mark 41 vertical launching system, allowing a wider missile selection, more firepower, and survivability. The improved an SPY-1B radar went to sea in US Princeton, ushering in another advance in Aegis capabilities. US chosen introduced the AN UYK-4344 computers, which provide increased processing capabilities. During 1980, a destroyer was designed using an improved seakeeping hull form, reduced infrared and radar cross-sections, and upgrades to the Aegis combat bad system. The first ship of the Arleigh Burke class, US Arleigh Burke, was commissioned during 1991. Flight 2 of the Arleigh Burke class, introduced in 1992, incorporated improvements to the spy radar and to the standard missile, active electronic countermeasures, and communications. Flight IIA, introduced in 2000, added a helicopter hangar with one anti submarine helicopter and one armed attack helicopter. Helicopter. The Aegis program has also projected reducing the cost of each flight IIA ship by at least $30 million. Aegis Open Architecture The multi-mission signal processor provides anti-air warfare, ballistic missile defense multi-mission capability for the first 28 ships of the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke class destroyer as part of the Aegis modernization program. This capability will also be incorporated in US John Finn and following new construction, and as well as Aegis Ashore. MMSP modifiers transmitters of the SPY-1D radar to enable dual beam operation for reduced frame times and better reaction time, and provide stability for all D waveforms. The SPY-1 radar system detects, tracks, and supports engagements of a broader range of threats. MMSP improves performance in literal, ducted clutter environments and in electronic attack and chaff environments and provides greater commonality in computer programs and equipment. This will result in the merger with Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. Technical Development and Issues There are some reports that Aegis radar systems on board some individual warships are not being maintained properly. A Navy panel headed by retired Vice ADM. Philip Ballal has issued the Ballal Report, which asserts that overemphasis on saving money, including cuts in crews and streamlined training and maintenance, has led to a drastic decline in readiness, and has left Aegis combat systems in low state of readiness. The biggest current blind spot for the Axe is underwater. Given the proliferation of ever more stealthy submarines this has become an issue of great concern for the U.S. Navy. Iran Air Flight 655 the Aegis system was involved in a disaster in which US Vincennes shot down Iran Air Flight 655 in 1988 resulting in 290 civilian deaths. It was determined by a formal military investigation that the Aegis system was completely operational and did not have any maintenance problems. The investigation ruled that if the commanding officer had relied on the complete tactical data displayed by the Aegis system the engagement might never have occurred. Additionally, psychological effects of the crew subconsciously manipulating the data to accord with a predefined scenario greatly contributed to the false identification. The investigation found that the Aegis combat system did not contribute to the incident, but did aid in the investigation by means of recorded target data. The discrepancies are as follows Aegis in other navies. The Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force operates four Congo-class destroyers of a modified Ali Burke design from 1993. Two improved units known as the Atago class were purchased in 2000 and the first ship of this class, Atagard, was commissioned March 15, 2007.
The Spanish Navy is currently operating five F-100 Alvaro de Bazin class Aegis frigates. The Royal Norwegian Navy is procuring five ships of Spanish manufacture which include U.S. sourced Aegis system integrated onto the ships, as the Fritjof Nansen class frigate. The first unit of this type, HNOMS Fritjof Nansen, was launched on June 3, 2004. The second of five Norwegian Nansen class frigates, HNOMS Roald Amundsen, completed its sea trials and entered service in June 2007. The 5,200 ton Nansen class ships are being built in Spain and cost $600 million each. Republic of Korea Navy is currently operating three Sejong the Great class destroyer. The lead ship was launched on May 25, 2007. The second Aegis destroyer was launched in November 2008 and was given the name Yul Gokiai. The third ship, Soai Yusung Ryong, was launched on March 24, 2011. The ROKN also is considering to buy more ships of the Sejong the Great class. The Royal Australian Navy is building three Hobart-class destroyers, which will have Aegis as the core of the combat systems. Informally, some media refer to the Chinese phased array radar air defense destroyers, Type 052C and Type 052D destroyers, as Chinese Aegis. Outside foreign observers retain the usage of Aegis mainly for the brand name Aegis equipped classes. But Chinese military usage does have some precedent. The Dreadnought which was first a single ship in one navy and then eventually a description for a class of warship in general. Dot. Operators. Current operators Australia, Japan, Norway, South Korea, Spain, United States, 